original Chaya started uh, 400 years ago in just a little seaside city of Hayama in Japan as a typical roadside cafe for people when they were traveling through Japan that they find this little cafe to rest up. And that's how we started. And now here we are in the United States. On the LA side, uh, my father came over in 1980 and started a little restaurant called La Petite Chaya. The Chai Brasserie is a restaurant that's been open for 27 years, uh, which is a very long time for, for a restaurant in uh, Beverly Hills. Uh, the concept of Chaya is uh, we, we made two different concepts. One is like a casual dining where it's uh, small dishes and shareable plates. And the other side is a uh, more like a proper dining room where I have the à la carte uh, menu and uh, as well as a tasting menu. We have two different tasting menus, one at $39 and one at $65, uh, which I change seasonally like uh, depending on uh, what is available at the farmer's market. Hamachi mole is a dish that really represents what I learned in uh, Los Angeles. So I did a, a take on the Japanese uh, traditional dish, which is sashimi and I input Mole Poblano from Mexico. I was born and raised in Paris, France, uh, from uh, Japanese parents. And I moved uh, to Tokyo, Japan at the age of 19 to work uh, under uh, Joël Robuchon, which is uh, one of the most uh, famous uh, French chefs in the world. And I worked for him for five years before moving on to work for Gordon Ramsay. And that's what really brought me uh, out in Los Angeles. I come up with new dishes every day and uh, I send them out to the dining room. You know, Chaya, it's a brasserie that really mixes flavors of uh, Europe and uh, Asia. And that's pretty much who I am. I have all these crazy ideas, all these souvenirs of all these countries I've been to and uh, just bring them all down on the menu and go to the farmer's market and choose the product and let them speak by, by themselves. People are wanting to see more of our interesting ingredients because we know now how wonderful other ingredients are all over the world and LA is just a mecca of the melting pot of the culture. So it's just a balance of change that yet not change and focus on basic hospitality and taking care of the customers and longevity is because of all the hard work of the staff and people who guarded this restaurant.